Hey everyone, I'm Jamie Provience. Today I'm grilling some dynamite chicken tacos with a roasted vegetable salsa and some crumbled goat cheese. Now, chicken tacos are great with just a fresh vegetable salsa, but I think this is even better because what happens is when you take the vegetables like peppers and tomatoes and onions and scallions and you cook them on the grill for a while, they concentrate their flavors. They get more intense, they get a little sweeter, and they pick up that nice char, that nice smokiness. I'm going to combine all those vegetables in this salsa. It's just going to give the tacos a lot more depth and character. So let me show you how it works. So your first step is to preheat the grill on high and coat some vegetables with olive oil. Now I've got here a red bell pepper, a white onion that's been cut into wedges, a couple of tomatoes that have been cored, and four scallions that have the stem ends trimmed off. And the idea is to really char the surface of these vegetables. You want to caramelize the plant sugars and burn off some of the water in the vegetables so that you're left with more of the concentrated vegetable flavor. The scallions will take the shortest amount of time, just a few minutes. The onions and the tomatoes will take a little bit longer. And the bell pepper will definitely take the longest, probably 12 to 15 minutes. With that, you want to blacken the surface all over. And as the other vegetables are done, just remove them to a sheet pan and let them cool. And then when the bell pepper is done, when it's blackened all over, like you see here, you want to remove that to a bowl and then cover the bowl with plastic wrap and the wrap will trap the steam inside and that's going to make it much easier to peel this bell pepper a little bit later. Now into a blender or food processor you want to put the grilled tomatoes, the grilled onions, and a classic salsa ingredient, this chipotle, which is a dried smoked jalapeno. Add some salt, a little bit of lime juice, and a few garlic cloves and puree this until it's all evenly combined. You want to make a pretty coarse puree at this point. I will add the other grilled vegetables later to create kind of a chunky salsa consistency, but at this point puree it until it's all evenly combined. And then pour that mixture off into a bowl and work with your chicken. Now for this recipe, I've chosen thighs because I think that they're much juicier, they're more flavorful. You could use breasts if you wanted to. Either way, you want to coat them with olive oil. Um, I've seasoned them with some salt, some pepper, and some chili powder. And they go right down on that hot grate for about six to eight minutes total. You want to uh, turn them just once so that you get the best char possible on both sides. And you can check to see if they're done really just by bending each thigh back on itself. What happens then is the meat kind of opens up a little bit and you can see into the center. And when the meat is opaque all the way to the center, that's your indication that these are done, but still juicy. So then remove your thighs to a baking sheet or a pan of some sort, let those cool, and go back to your salsa. So what I'm going to do now is just add the grilled scallions, cut them up into small pieces, um, also add the roasted red bell pepper. What you want to do is just open it up now, cut out that stem end, um, turn it over and use a knife just to scrape off most of the blackened skin. A little bit of the skin is actually fine, but you want to get most of it off before you roughly chop the rest of the bell pepper and add that to your salsa. Now give that a mix, um, taste it, see if it needs a little salt and pepper, maybe a little lime juice, um, but that's pretty much ready to go now. Now you've got your chicken to cut up, um, just cut it into small pieces, bite-sized pieces, add those pieces to a bowl, and at this point I like to take a little bit of the salsa, about a third of a cup, and just pour it over the chicken and toss it together, just to moisten it. And now you're almost done. You just want to take the flour tortillas, put them over the grill for about 30 seconds or so until they're warm and toasted, and begin to form your tacos. And you do that with this beautifully charred grilled chicken, that incredibly concentrated vegetable salsa. And I like to finish it with a little bit of tangy, creamy goat cheese. And we're talking about some really dynamite chicken tacos. Mm -hmm.